Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So as you can imagine, it was a very crazy, chaotic month for me. Um, between the week it took me to leave Charleston and get settled in here with the move in Char to Charlotte, and then also the holidays, uh, Christmas and New Year's, I did not get a lot of sewing done, <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. So I thought I would just give you guys a rundown of what I did make. Um, it's not very much, and most of it you've already seen, seeing as I did an extensive sew along that ended last week, two weeks ago. Um, so in that sew along, I made Vogue 9653, the jumpsuit and the jacket. So here is the jumpsuit. Um, anyways, I absolutely adore this jumpsuit. I think it is so sexy, it's so fun to wear. The day that I filmed that video, I actually wore this jumpsuit and the jacket all day. Um, we went to lunch, we went and got manicures. <laughs> all of that in my holiday outfit. I'm sure that they thought that I had somewhere really special I was going later. I didn't, I just came home. But here's the jacket, so cute. Here's the inside. Also, after I sewed that, uh, or after I posted that video, someone commented about the button because it's so big and heavy and suggested that I sew a clear button on the backside, so it's like, the big button, the fabric, and then a little button on the other side. And I guess the little button sewn to the big button through the fabric <laughs> helps stabilize everything. And in my mind, that makes a lot of sense. So I am going to do that. I will let you know how it goes. It's not super bad right now, but it does kind of flop down. Can you see there how it's like wanting to lay down? Anyways, here's the back. Both of these fabrics came from Minerva, Minerva Crafts, and um, I really, really enjoyed working with both of them. They were just as advertised, which is awesome, whenever, you know, it's an online fabric shop. They are based in the UK, but they have some superb shipping um, for those of, us, those of us in the United States, honestly. It's comparable with fabric.com or any of the other online retailers that are based in the US or even Canada. Um, so I encourage you to check them out if you haven't already. Okay, and then the only thing that you guys haven't seen yet is my new Butterick 6466. I love this pattern. I don't think it's out of print yet, but I think it's probably pretty close. And I'm telling you guys, it is phenomenal. Like you will love this dress. This is my second version. And you guys know I don't make repeats of patterns very often. Um, but this one is just as good the second time around. The first version is that navy and cream stripe. Remember that? Um, but this version is like a floral. The other one was a cotton sateen. This is more of a crepe, maybe? It actually feels like a crepe back satin, and this is the satin part. That's what it feels like. I got it in New York City this year. So you can see that there. You can also see the lining peeping out. I ended up making, I converted the lining. Normally the lining mimics exactly the front of the bodice. It's all the same pieces. But I traced off those pieces and converted it into a two-part lining, which is, has like a facing and then also a lining, which I was really proud of. I'll have a video on that coming up soon too as well. And then also I did a little trickery. If you remember from that navy and white striped dress, the one thing that I complained about it was that because of the faux wrap situation, you could not create, the zipper tape had to be exposed. You ended up having to sew that, um, the this these seams here as one. You couldn't separate the lining from the main. 
And knowing that going into this, I thought I want to figure out a way to fix that. So I did. Um, it cost me the clean construction in the waistband, but I thought this, that was the lesser of the two evils. I would rather have this look nice and this be not perfect. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys more about that whenever I um, film my uh, pattern review video, like where I model the garment and stuff, but I thought I'd just give you guys a little sneak peek of it. Isn't it pretty? When I was first working on it, I thought this fabric was looking a little bit like old Asian grandma, but now I really like it. So anyways, uh, 6446 Butterick, like I said, you guys go get this if you didn't already. I want to make like 14 versions of it, honestly. I could make it over and over again. And now that I have all that facing stuff figured out, I just might do that. The maxi version with that sleeve, come on. Anyways, so that's all I made in December. <laughs> but I do have some plans come up, coming up in January, which include, because it's the beginning of the year and like, you know, you get reinvigorated into some of those like sewing goals. Um, starting up the refashion, one refashion a month, starting up Sew My Style again. Um, so hopefully with those things, in addition to my regular plans, in addition to getting this place, like, figured out, you can tell by the background that things are a little bit chaotic still, um, I'll get back in my groove again and be, you know, making more stuff. <laughs> so anyways, that's going to do it for me today. I'm sure you guys all made a ton of stuff, including like gifts and you gave stuff away and all of that is really awesome. So brag about yourself in the comments below. I'll just live vicariously through all of you guys. <laughs> and until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.